G'day, you would have seen of late that we've been making a number of videos that talk about uh, preload, static sag, rider sag, and setting up the suspension for the motorcycle to suit your body weight. Now, it's important to understand that if you do make those adjustments, which I'm assuming that you would want to do to optimize the handling of the motorcycle, that in the case of this particular bike, which is a pre-2020 model uh, S1000RR, you need to recalibrate something. Now, to explain what it is we need to recalibrate, I'll, I'll uh, explain a couple of things first. First of all, ABS. Now, the ABS system works quite simply. When you apply the brakes uh, under braking conditions, if the front wheel loses traction, starts to slide, then the motorcycle detects that and it releases the brake and allows the wheel to spin. Now, these particular bikes have a mechanism which measures, measures the rear, rear lift. Basically, it's understanding the distance between the, the frame or the back of the bike and the rear wheel. And what it wants to understand is when you might be getting to a point where the rear wheel is lifting off the ground. That's important because under severe braking conditions, if the rear wheel is lifting off the ground, you want ABS to be applied so that the, re the rear wheel starts, keeps moving, you know, under really light traction conditions. And uh, the problem with setting preload and rider sag on these bikes is when you change the setting from factory, you're changing the height, you know, in a static situation and in a rider situation. And you can be uh, position this bike in such a way that as you apply the brake, it thinks that the back is lifting much more than it actually is. And it applies sag, uh, not sag, applies ABS to the rear wheel while you're under conditions where you need the brake. So we don't want that. And what we need to do is calibrate a zero point, which basically is when the, the weight of the bike is sitting on the rear wheel, that's the, that's the zero point, and that's where all the measurements are taken from. It's quite easy to do on the pre-2020 model. Uh, the 20, uh, 2020 model and onwards is obviously gonna be done differently as it has a digital dashboard. So I'll show you how it works here. The, the two things I'm going to operate are the trip and the set buttons on the left handlebar. And all I simply do is go to the dynamic suspension uh, setup menu. And I do that by pressing set, little short presses, until I get through to setup menu. When I get to setup menu, I hold the set button for a long press and it, and it gets me into the menu. I want to go into the setup for DDC system, so I long press again. Okay, now I'm in that menu. I'm just going to scroll through until I see calibrate. Now. What this is going to do is calibrate the zero point for the rear. Now, the way that you do that is you have the bike sitting and holding its own weight. So it can be on the side stand, as they say in the manual, or in this case, I've got it on a, um, a rear wheel you know, lift stand that actually gets under the swing arm. So the weight of the bike is applied to the rear wheel. All I simply do is I hold down the set for a long press until calibrate flashes, and it is now calibrating, and then it tells you that the calibration is done. And then it's simply a matter of scrolling out, exiting the menu, and on back to uh, square one. So there you have it. Hope that was useful. Uh, go ahead and uh, calibrate your bike if you've done your preload.